Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. It is Tuesday and it's quarter to nine. I've just done the school run and I've now got 15 minutes between um, that and children arriving. Um, because of the ham foot and mouth, I've now got only Orion and Finn today. Um, so instead of my four, I've got two. And we've now got a hat trick because Archie's now come down with it as well. So it's so contagious. Um, so yes, that's three of my little ones poorly. It's going to be a very quiet week during the day, I have to say. Um, and I'm hoping they're not suffering too badly, although Ozzy does look pretty spotty, bless him. Um, so I think with these 15 minutes... I'm trying to get myself into a bit of a rhythm of giving myself odd moments in the day like you saw yesterday to just sit quietly with the candle, with some of my crystals, with my rune stones, all the stuff I used to love in my teens and that I've always had an interest in but then you become a mother and you have no time to do all the things you want to do and you have no quiet time because you know you've got children um and so i've just noticed over the last year and a half that my boys have needed me less and less and i, I mean they need me but day to day wise they need me less and less they're happy doing their own thing it's not mama this mama that mama the other um, you know, they're little adults really, or oh, Brendan's a big adult, well in fairness they're both big aren't they, but you know, they're, they're pretty much adults now and self-sufficient, um, and so I need to, I don't want to say find myself because that seems really cliche and a bit cheesy if you ask me, but I get where the saying comes from, I need to recenter myself and rekindle the things I'm finding interest you know I've had an interest in and that I've enjoyed maybe find new things I don't know but I'm finding that I'm going back to the things that I enjoyed in my youth and my early 20s before children so I'm just going to center myself with a candle with my rune stones pick a rune for the day to give me some sort of, it's a nice way to just sit and think, either ask a question with your runes or to just sort of set a feeling for the day, I suppose. Or maybe if the rune comes back not so great, then an awareness that maybe if you continue on the path you're on, you might, what's the word? you might have not such a good day. <laughs> I mean, it depends what you believe, doesn't it? And, you know, these things are not future telling. I don't know if there's a, such a thing as future telling. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna sit and center myself for a bit and then go get some breakfast and then start my day. only got one child now I've only got Finn because Orion's not well don't know if it's ham foot and mouth but he's not well so I've only got Finn so we're gonna go for a walk aren't we Finn okay. we're gonna go to the woods and Virginia Virginia and Uliana are coming with us as well and it is a lovely blue sky day 
and so we're going to go and make the most of it for the morning and enjoy being outside in nature in the sun with only two children let's do the loop finn you're right let's do the loop do you like the woods yeah i like the woods I like being with trees what's a loop it's kind of a circular walk we don't walk round in circles because that would be silly. So we just go round the outside of the woods and into the woods and all the way back here again. That's a loop. A mole's gonna come out, go knock, 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 knock. Anybody in? What do you think, Finn? Mm -hmm. Is he in? Is he knock? Anybody in? No, he's not coming out. He's already popped his head out, that's why all this mud's here. And then he's gone back underground, he's got all these tunnels. Can you see he's probably gone that way? Can you see all the tunnels going that way? The little bits yeah. popping up. You think you started that way and went all the way in that line that way? Yeah. You probably did, Finn, you're right. Because look, you can see one there, one there, one there, one there. Oh, look, here's a hole. This is where his head will have come out. One here. And then he went off to the woods to have fun, look. Yeah. But we're going to do it above ground. And look all the moss growing up the tree. Yes. No, you feel how soft it is? Soft moss. I bet mice use it to make a bed because it's so soft. I'd like to sleep on moss. Oh, it's really soft this side, Finn. Come around this side. Let's move the bramble. Here, look. This is the side that the sun is on. You get more moss. It grows better. What do you think? I think they eat that. You think they sleep on that bit, do you? Is it softer? Yeah. Yeah, they're like little hedgehogs. Yeah. Do you want to yeah. feel it? <laughs> no. They're like little hedgehogs uh, back. They're like the little hedgehogs' backs? Yeah. Yeah, they do look like little hedgehogs. This looks like two hedgehogs cuddling. Yeah. Yeah. And here's the nuts that come out of out of there. Look, oh, there we are. Look. Mm. Absolutely, won't be long. Oh, look, there's lots over here. These ones have just fallen by the look of it, because look, they've not gone brown yet. Oh, and more mushrooms. Look, more mushrooms and more moss. They they are really cool. They're kind of yellow, aren't they? Those yeah. mushrooms. They 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 like the um cooked. Yeah, don't touch them, sweetie, because some mushrooms are poisonous. They look like they've been cooked, do they? Browned off. Is that what you mean in the oven? Yeah. Corn, lots of nuts. Squirrels will have a great time eating these, won't they? There we are, look. That 
that's got something called lichen on it, Finn. That's growing on the stick. Does it feel spiky? No, that's too soft. It feels soft, does it? Yeah. Would you like to feel some? Shake the stick. No, the stick offends me. <laughs> so even though the stick's fallen off and the stick is dying because it's not attached to a tree anymore, it's got new life growing on it. Isn't that clever? Nature is amazing, Finn. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. You could not have been in my daycare setting for all this time and not think that nature is amazing. I'm afraid. Otherwise I will have failed my job. Still quite a few berries, isn't there, Finn, on the bush? A few left. A lot of them have dried up, haven't they? And what berries are left now, because it's past Halloween, you leave for the birds because we have to share the fruit, don't we? Yeah. So after Halloween, we leave everything else for the birds and the mice. Yeah? yeah? That can be your house, Finn. Can we find the den? Oh, under the branch. Over the stick. Wibble wobble. Can you find the door, Finn? How can you get in from that? Do you like your house, Finn? Yeah. You look very relaxed there, leaning up against the door. Yeah. You're going to live in the woods for the rest of the day? There's a lot of mushrooms, isn't there? This looks amazing. I put those on first. You saw those, did you? It's like honey mushroom heaven. A big family of them. Yeah, and we got little fairies that live in them. Little fairies live in them, do they? Yeah. That's a nice idea, Finn. Yeah, some. Some fairies live in them, do they? I like that idea. Did you see one fly in? No. It's a good place to live, I think. It would shelter you from the rain, wouldn't it? If you're a little yeah. tiny fairy. Give me a big hug. You don't, what did you say? You don't want the man to chop it down? No. No. This, is, this tree stays up, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice tree to hug. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> It's like he's got knobbly bobbly toes, this tree, hasn't he? But there's his leg, his foot, and he's got knobbly bobbly feet. I bet that feels lovely. Uh, it just feels knobbly bobbly. I like it. Knobbly bobbly. You found another root? Oh, yeah. Nobbly bubbly, well done. Are you going to walk along with nobbly bubbles? Oh, that'd be wobbly, wobbly. Mm. Are you ready for jump? Yes. Ready? I'm the king of the castle now. Good boy, well done. Ready? Jump? Yeah. Ready? 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, it takes a bit of climbing, doesn't it? It's, it's almost as tall as you. Uh, that's it. Right, you ready? Do you feel like you're really high up now? Yeah. Is it too high or you're right? Go on then. Whoa, you did it! Oh, did you drop your marshmallow? You have to cook another one. There we go. Cook my marshmallow. Nice. Juliana, do you have to cook a marshmallow? I'm cooking marshmallow. Need that forward. Yeah. yeah, don't get too close to the fire, you might burn your fingers. Right. Mm. <laughs> uh oh. 
Ew, that's quite a stick. It's quite a big stick, is it? Yeah. Tasty marshmallows. And look, there's corn on the cob. We can cook some corn on the cob as well on our fire. No, that's not all. So are you keeping that to take it home? Yeah. I'll put it in your in your special pouch then. Oh, oh Lord, boy. did you roll down the hill? What's going on there? Roly poly. Gravity took over, didn't it? Mm. Yeah. There you go. Marshmallow on a stick. No, no. My marshmallow. Oh, cool. I'm going to cook my marshmallow too. Uh, uh, I've got a long stick so I can't go too back to it. Very good idea because fires are hot, aren't they? Yes. Is your marshmallow falling off? Do you want me to put it back on for you? Yeah. Oh. It's very hot. It's very hot, is it? Yeah. I won't burn my fingers. There you go. You might want to eat that soon before it falls off your stick. Walk in the woods has certainly given me a bit of an appetite. So I've done some gluten-free pasta, some red pesto sauce and some cheese. Good evening, you lovely lot. Um, it's about 10 to 6 and we need to head out soon because we are going to a sixth form event for Kenzie at the school. We are going to just see what options are available to him if he decided to stay on at school and do sixth form. I'm really hoping he'll stick with the idea of college because I think that's his best option. And he really was quite passionate about it when we went to the open day. So we'll just see. But we are just looking at all his options so that we're not ruling anything out. Um, and then after tonight's visit to the school, hopefully he will have a better idea about what he really, really wants to do for his further education. So I'm going to finish my cup of tea and then I'm going to head off. Lee and I are both going to take him. So that should take up a chunk of our evening. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow.